Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new ESC ready for testing and it's the Spedex GS35 Amp ESC. Now this is a 32-bit ESC, it takes 2 to 6S and it's rated for 35 amps, so it's pretty cool. And from looking at it, it seems that it does have the current sensing option, which is a big plus, and a fat line of capacitors. So overall, this one should be a good one. So let's just talk about the specs right here before we jump into the uh, noise testing on the bench here. So it is a 35 amp ESC, like I mentioned before. It takes a 2 to 6S LiPo, and it's 45 amp burst up to 10 seconds, which is pretty good. And um, yeah, and that's really it. So let's just see if it does have smart port telemetry because, yep, there it is. There's our pad for telemetry right there. So that's a big plus. And how many caps do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 capacitors, one fat tantalum, one tiny tantalum capacitor. This should be good for the overall system here. And uh, obviously we do have current sensing and the telemetry pad is right there. So if you wanted ESC telemetry, you would connect all your ESCs into one wire and then stick them on some kind of RX port on your flight controller and then you'll be able to get telemetry going. So overall, I mean, it looks pretty nice. I really can't say much about it. And um, it does have a nice fat heatsink. And uh, knowing Spedex, they're pretty good in durability. However, usually they've been just, you know, average in the testing environment here. So nothing super spectacular and nothing super awesome. Just, you know, just pretty good. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to, we're just going to stick it on the bench. We're going to test it up right now. See how good it does noise handling and voltage drops and voltage spikes. So enough talking and let's get started. Alright guys, so how did this one do? Well, this one did just like its other brothers. It's just average, nothing super spectacular. Uh, the average vo voltage spike was 21-ish, 21.2, and the voltage drop, the average was 12.5. Um, nothing super crazy, nothing super bad, just average. Has a little bit of noise, the phases weren't perfect. But I think, you know, for D-Shot, for BL Heli 32, uh, usually I see those the ESCs do a lot better than uh, this one actually But you know the real world testing is obviously going to be different and I do tend to notice when I see these kinds of regulators on board uh, They do seem to be a bit more noisy and more susceptible to burning out on high current load uh, Which happened to be on previous ESCs, but you know, we're gonna Basically pound the shit out of this on our ESC testing quad and we'll figure it out as time goes on But overall it's a decent one. It's not bad. It's not a piece of crap um, it's not super amazingly speechless good. It's just right there in the middle. However, you know, if I if I still had the choice, I would I would still jump on a DYS Aria. Um, I'm finding that to be the best ESC out right now. Uh, just my personal preference and taste, and from the overall uh, experience in real world testing, I truly do love it. Uh, this is a very good one, and this one should be a very good one. Also, we're going to be sticking it on, and we'll check it out. We'll check its real-world FPV footage, see how noisy it is. We're not going to put any low ESR capacitors, and it does have all the BL Heli 32 features, so that's going to be pretty cool. And, well, that's it, guys. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope it helped someone out there, and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know, and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.